Hey guys, this is Frankie, Simply Imaginary People, and I was asked to make a tutorial on how to convert accessories to objects. So you're just going to download whatever accessory you wanted. Let's go. And open it in Sim TSRW. Right, so I was asked to convert the Lennon glasses. Okay, so it's actually going to show me. Okay, so I want these glasses. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to export the very high. I'm just going to save this under. The high lot. I'm just going to call this mesh. Oops, I need this as dot object, not as dot auto. So mesh as dot object. And then I'm going to export the textures. So, uh, so I'm it. Export the mask. Export the multiplier. And export the specular. Even though I think that's the same as the multiplier. Yeah, okay. Um, Okay, and we have another color. Good. So now you're just going to open Blender and you're going to import that object. So, no downloads. So, the mesh. And you'll see it's floating up here. So, I'm just going to press 5 and then 1 on my numpad and it will give me this view. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to select that group. And I'm just going to move it down till it's pretty much on that red line, which is the floor. Okay, now I'm going to press 3, and you'll see that it's higher on that side, which is weird, so I'm just going to rotate it. It's going to go to edit mode, please. So that it actually looks like it's laying on the floor. Right, perfect. And now what I'm going to do is, most objects will have a drop shadow and I'm not going to show you how to make a drop shadow because I've done a tutorial on that but I'm just going to fake a drop shadow so I'm just going to add a plane and pretend this is my drop shadow okay so now I'm just going to right click the drop shadow and then shift right click the glasses so I've both selected and I'm going to go to export try and make sure it's around about the center of this um, red green line the glasses are because they're in the middle of the head but that's like the middle point. So export object and I'm going to say object is object group so it keeps the two groups I have and save this as mesh edit. And then I'm going to go into um, milk shape and import that object. And there we go. And I'm going to delete it. Now, glasses have gloss, obviously. So I'm going to check how they did it. And just check out their mesh materials. So their glasses are actually not see-through. So I don't need a glass mesh. If they're see-through, they usually have another group. If they were see-through, I would have to copy these details into a... Um, mesh that has glass. So I don't have glass, so I need to open a um, normal decorative object. Mm -hmm. Don't seem to like me doing that. So just find something. Takes a while to load. That's taking ages. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, I'm just going to pick an object that looks like it will be recoverable. So this will do. Right, 
and you'll see they usually have two groups. The first group is always a shadow group, and the second group is just the normal thing. So here, what I'm going to do, this is group 0, now it needs to be called group 1, and this one is group 0, because this is the shadow group. Make sure that no materials, and I don't need to assign bones to this mainly because objects only need bones if they move, they have independently moving parts. So if one part of the object moves different to the other part, so like a fridge where the door opens but the body of the fridge doesn't move. So things like that need bones. Things like chairs that just move as one solid piece don't need them, and deco objects also don't need bones. TSRW automatically gives them the deco bone pretty much. Okay, so export TSRW object mesh edit. Then I need to make another one that only has group 1, uh, group 0, and I need to lower the poly, so this will be my LOD. And it's decided to crash, that's always so useful. Decide to crash it sometimes helps to go to model cleaner first. Press no and then try the direct X mesh tool. As you can see, for some reason it then works. Okay, so I'm just going to lower the poly, delete that group again. Call this group zero, it's gone black, so I'll just go to faces, move all, and then export as TSW object. Mesh edit lod. Right, so I'll go to the thing I've cloned. Nope, not that one. Import my mesh edit. There we go. Import my mesh edit lod. Um, you'll see because I didn't make an actual um, drop shadow, it doesn't have a shadow, so that's fine. If I'd have made a proper one via my tutorial, it would have a shadow. Now go to shadow high level of detail, press blue signs, select the second group, that's the shadow group, I don't want that. Make a shadow, go to medium level of detail, make a shadow from medium detail mesh. Right, it'll look weird, obviously, in TSRW most of the time. Now we're going to go to textures and we're going to import your mask. Press yes. And I'm going to import my multiplier and press. And then I'm going to, because it's the same as the multiplier, I'm going to browse for it so not to import it again. There we go. And you'll see, I think. You can see that the glass is kind of see-through. Now, <clears throat> in um, objects to make this work, you actually need that to be a separate group. So you've got the problem that group one is Fong, and Fong is always just going to be um, solid. So the problem is that this one actually in game won't show it as partially see-through. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go back to Blender, sorry. And I'm going to select the glasses by going to edit mode and pressing L over the glass parts, not that, like this. And then I'm going to press P, parent by selection, and go to object mode. Right, now I've got three groups, so I'm just going to select all of them by pressing A, and then export them again. Let's go to mesh edit, and go to TSRW, and do it again. Import wavefront object. Mesh. No, that's, yeah, okay. Delete my groups. That's my main frame. That's going to go as group one. These are my glasses. I'm going to move those down and call those group two. And that is my. Shadow, that's group zero. I obviously can't spell. Right. 
and I'm going to name this Men Mesh Edit. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete the top one, renumber these to be correct, and say Tools Model Clean. In cast, you can make a shader to make something um, slightly see-through, like the glass part. But in objects, it needs its own group. So I'm um, just going to hope this works. No, it doesn't. No. Really doesn't like me. Uh, right, again, delete the shadow group as medium detail doesn't have a shadow, and try again. So what I did is I literally made the part that's slightly see-through, which is only the glass part, its own group. Now, if we go in here, you'll see I only have group 0 and group 1, while well, here I had group 0, group 1, and group 2, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Copy group one, which is the mesh group. I'm just going to duplicate and press yes to the pop. And I'm going to do the same for the medium level of detail. Get now. I'm going to import the lod into medium detail and import my mesh edit into high. Now to make a group um, partially see-through, so there's two things, there's if you want something to be totally see-through, like you have an area that's like a cutout, so you have a plane, but you only have part of the plane coloured, you can leave it as the font group and just change this value to 60, that'll make all the bits that are see-through, see-through, but if you want it to be like transparent, so kind of see-through, it needs its own group, so we're going to change this group and we're going to call it font alpha, I'm just going to press no to keep all the details and you'll have to see if you need to edit this in game so you'll have to test it in game see if it looks okay but you might end up having to edit this number a bit so maybe say 40 or 60 you'll have to see what looks best I'm going to say 40 for now but that's just something you're going to have to um, test yourself that number edits like how see-through it is so you're just going to have to fiddle do the same here the other one. No, keep those details. We'll also do that 40. Again, you'll have to test which number is good by just loading it in game. And that makes the groups partially see-through because their texture is partially see-through. You can see it's not very see-through here, so I could theoretically go to see what zero does. Also I'm not or like really depends what looks good. Again, you'll just have to fiddle around with that. Right, and now I'm just going to go to textures and I'm just going to go to this texture and do something cool. So I'm just going to go to edit, export, and I'm just going to call this one. And then I can go to here and I can go import and import the one. And export the second color, just right over it. Import second color, and then export third color, and import third color. Now, see, it's not changing. Let's make sure. Okay, there's no overlay. Make sure there's no overlay. I think there's probably like. Oh, I had it fourth color. I don't have a fourth color, so just make that false. There you go. Your glasses now should look like those glasses. Make sure you delete any further recolors. Right, there we go. Go to project. I'll call it. Wait, I'll be right back. My computer decided to die. Okay, 
so just call it Lennon glasses copy to all save converted by ordinary people copy to all save you can cost like five simoleons right now I want it as decor yes Miscellaneous decor that works for me. Bathroom, maybe bedroom and living room as accents that works. Okay, and now also make sure at the bottom. Oh, I took that weird thing. Uh, it says WF anywhere. That's correct. Okay. This flag is important. Small means it um, can be placed on slots, on small slots, which are most of the slots. So make sure that's ticked. Um, then we need to go here to slots and go to footprint. Footprint is like how much space it takes up. So I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to select my mesh and I'm going to say calculate. And you'll see it then fits my glasses, which is good. And then I also need to go to misc have some weird masks. I'm just going to empty these out. And light. Just let it wait till done that. Okay, it doesn't have any lights. Lights, um, sometimes you'll find here there's entries here. So there'll be entry one, entry two. And you'll see like grey shading boxes here. That is how it blocks the light inside. So most of the time um, it doesn't really fit, so I just delete it. So I literally pick entry 1 and then press minus, and pick entry 2, press minus, and delete all the entries. But I don't have any, so that's good. Right, and that is pretty much all I need to do. So now I can export this to package, and just call it object deck clear will list lemon glasses. Good, now I'm just going to go to that folder. Um, nope, that was wrong one. Where is it? Okay, I'm just going to open this. Make sure it only has the images I imported, which is true. And also make sure you can see this says 0 times 7, 0, 0, 0. 7 means the 7th expansion pack, so this isn't base game compatible. So I'm just going to double click this and change that 7 to 0. And you just need to do that for the OBGD one. And that makes that base game compatible. So save that. Yes. And then use Sims 3 RC to clean it. And compress it. And there you go. That's how you simply convert an accessory to an object. Obviously the glass one's a bit harder because you need a new group. If it doesn't have glass parts or see-through parts on it, you don't need to do that. You can just do it how I was going to do it in the beginning. And I hope that helps.